Hey everybody, welcome to the Daily Smash for Monday, November 20, 2023. I'm Rick. I'm Kelly. Before we go any further, here is a brief message from Rick Leventhal and Noble Gold. Dark clouds are gathering as markets shudder. Stocks are sinking, currencies stumbling. Fear and uncertainty reign. The Middle East, Ukraine, Israel, Taiwan, the debt, it's endless. Yet one asset stands firm, gold. In crisis after crisis, gold is there in the background. Its enduring value guards against loss, like a missile shield against incoming. While paper wealth burns, gold persists. Shield your savings against looming threats of war, recession, contagion, and avoid the frenzied panic of the unprepared. Take control in the chaos. Fortune favors decisive action. Get a hold of gold now before it's out of reach. Right now, Noble Gold Investments offers a free 5-ounce America the Beautiful coin with every new IRA. Claim your free coin today to secure your financial future. As this new storm gathers, panic looms, and some of the places you were thinking of for your money, they don't look so clever anymore. Secure your future against disaster. Open a Noble Gold Investments IRA and claim your free bullion coin today. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com right now. noblegoldinvestments.com. It's the only gold company I trust. I'm a spokesperson now. Oh, yeah? <laughs> do there it. it was. No, I just did it. That was it? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I thought you'd do it again. No, I, I'm editing it in. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? Everyone got to see it except you. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> but you saw me doing it. <clears throat> that was recorded in Boca Raton. Um, my treat, I had to take all my bulbs off. Oh, yeah, so we were, uh, Kelly decided to add more lights to the tree. Because I, I found them at Anthropology in Westfield um, Mall in Century City. And so we bought them, but we didn't have enough. And it was so funny. This lady, they have this area at the anthropology where they cutting and making floral arrangements. It's really, it's I've a never. Store. It's, it's a separate like store. It's like, yeah, it's like it's, a. Like, what would you call that? It's it's like a, a, a plant shop next to the regular store. No, it's in anthropology. Right, I know, but it's, you had to go through a door to get in there. Yeah, it was neat, right? Yeah. Didn't you think it was? Yeah. It looked like all whimsical. I thought it was so cool. So this lady goes, ah, I know you. You're on Orange County Housewives. And I go, yeah, that's me. She goes, Kelly Dodd. And I go, yep, it's <laughs> me. And she goes, oh, you know who was in here last weekend? And I go, who? And she goes, you know, the girl that was um, on Orange County, the one that's uh, married to the doctor? And I go, <laughs> Heather Debro. She goes, yeah, her. <laughs> and I died laughing because I'm like, this chick, Heather Debro, wants to be famous mm -hmm. so bad. Yeah. She wants to be an actress. Uh -huh. She wants to be known. She wants to be famous. Mm -hmm. And she's thinks done, she's all that. Thinks that she's all And she's done everything to put her name out there. And you are the doctor's wife. <laughs> and she knew your name but didn't know her name. Yeah. I thought that was hilarious. We got recognized, well, Kelly got recognized at least five times that day. And I got recognized one and a half times. Because one time this, this person goes, oh, and she's, he, the person comes up to Kelly and goes, ah, you're Kelly. And, I, and she goes, yeah. And he, she goes, sorry. The person goes, I recognize, I saw Rick and I, and I wondered if you were with him. So that counts as like a half or maybe a whole Rick. And then yeah. the lady who was a Fox fan came up, very excited. But you, wherever we go. It's so funny. It's, it's like no one bothers me here in Orange County or like comes up to me. Well, you know half the people in Newport Beach. Yeah. So that happens anyway. Um, Kelly's under the weather, by the way. I so am. she's she's playing I'm in sick. pain. Uh, thank you. Sick, for, sick, sick. Yeah. <clears throat> I might be getting sick. I'm not sure. Jolie said she wasn't feeling well. Right. I wonder if we all got the same bug. Jolie's friend Lucy went home today to after San being Francisco. here for, for eight days. Well, how sweet was that when she was leaving? She started crying. Aw. Well, you know what? I would cry too if I had to go run back to San Francisco. <laughs> 
she goes, it's so pretty here. It's so nice here. And, and then, uh, my friend sent me this video of, of, uh, San Francisco and how all, all the stores are gone. And that was my only saving grace of like enjoying it. There was the going, shopping, the shopping. And now all those stores are closed. All the stores on market. She's like, it's, she's like, it's, it's a dump. Yeah. The only nice areas are the marina area, she said, in Pacific Heights. It's sad. <clears throat> I went there 20 years ago and thought it was the most beautiful city I'd ever been to. And it that was before everything went to crap. Yeah. Isn't that funny what politics can do? Isn't it? Yeah, because you allow things to happen and then it just kind of snowballs and spirals out of control. Well, wasn't New York like that? And then Rudy Giuliani got a, a hold of Giuliani it. Giuliani cleaned that city up to make it the... The safest city in America, probably one of the safest major cities in the world. And then, you know, uh, you got a different mayor in there who has a different agenda. Next thing you know, things start sliding again, and it's it's not the same city you anymore. You know, like uh, uh, the mayor of L.A., uh, Rick Caruso, well, had Well, he this wanted whole plan. to be mayor. Well, he had this whole plan of, like, making it nice. Yeah. And people... Cleaning it up. And, and people picked that idiot cracking down on crime nope no nah, let's just let it let's just let terror reign Sorry. let's let anarchy r rule yeah oh kelly's wearing her daily smash hat and sweatshirt we've marked these down for the holidays these are now 20 and these are 40 everybody else is doing it both for 55 but unfortunately i think we only have smash sweatshirts in the medium <clears throat> we have the rick kelly show in all sizes and there's a rick kelly show hat this is on Patreon. That's so Rick and cute. Kelly show. So you can get yours at rickkellyshow.com. And you know what else you can get there? My book. I'll autograph it for you for 30 bucks. One of our Patreons on Zoom bought it. I think it was Karen. Oh, we signed like 15 of them yesterday. Yeah, it was so nice. It was yeah. so sweet. I think it was Karen. If I so, missed it up, I'm sorry. I'm sick. So we took the girls on a boat ride. Well, we didn't take them. Steel Platt took them. But mm -hmm. we went with... We invited them to come with us, and they all came, Jolie and Lucy and her friend, Devin. And then there were a bunch of other people on the boat. And, I mean, it was, I have some video. It was just such a glorious, <laughs> wonderful day. I'm so grateful to Steel for, for bringing us out there. It's just, it's such a great experience. And to have a friend with a boat, and you don't have to have the boat and take care of all the maintenance and everything else. This is like a 70-foot yacht. It's not a boat, it's a yacht. I think it's two or three million dollars. Do you know that? No, it was more. Oh, okay. He told me. He told me what he paid for it. It was more. So than we that. went really fast, like towards um, Dana Point, and he was showing me the gas. I think it was like, <laughs> it was I don't know, like five dollars a second. Really? Yeah, a second. When he opens it up, and you could see it on the thing. Yeah, five dollars a second. I think he said overall <laughs> he might have burned. I, don't know, I think he said 100 gallons, maybe. So that's like f at least 500 bucks. It might have been more than that. Wow. And then, I mean, there's all, all, all kinds of other expenses. We did bring food. Well, having a boat is like getting a hole and uh -huh. just throwing money in the hole. <laughs> and he's, he's not happy. He, he loves the boat, but he's upgrading. He's going to trade that one in. He's going to sell it and lose probably, he said, half a million on it. I think it was about $5 million. Well, don't they depreciate always? Yeah, typically they do. Mm -hmm. But he's going to buy another one that's like one of a kind or one of, it's a very limited edition that's going to be ready in like a year and he's going to replace it. He's upgrading with that one. Wow. But he said he's probably going to keep that one. That'll be his last boat. But, but uh, what, a, what a terrific day out on the water, um, watching the sunset. And for the most part, we were just cruising around the harbor. He watched this uh, docuseries called... Uh uh, what, Butler, no, the, the billionaire, billionaire Butler and, and the boyfriend. Yeah, you guys have to watch. It's on Netflix. I was a little annoyed in part one because they kept doing all these like it, there's a reenactments and there's a lot of music <laughs> that they just kept weaving in and it was a little overproduced. I thought because they don't have the video, they don't have a lot of video, but they have the aud actual audio recordings because it's Butler bugged conversations. But it's a fascinating story. It's about the heiress of L'Oreal. Who's the richest woman in the world? And now her daughter is the richest woman in the world. Thirty billion dollars. Wow. Could you imagine? But the crazy part was I mean, it's a crazy story. She had a gay boyfriend. He was I mean, it wasn't like a, a real boyfriend, but it was her best friend who was this dude who was taking money from her. Checks, art, 
sculpture, anything and everything. Vases, artifacts. And it added up to like almost a billion dollars over 10 years that she gave to him. And then she wanted to give him the rest of her fortune. She wanted to cut her daughter out of the will and give him everything. Yeah. And I don't want to give too much away because that's part of the plot. It's crazy. Oh, I know what I want to show. There's just one little clip while we're on the boat. There are these seals that always hang out on this, uh, what was that thing? Like a, a buoy? Yeah, a buoy. And just check this out. It's wild. I, I was like, they're so lazy, these seals. They just uh -huh. lie in the sun all day. But I just think it's so cool. The wildlife. He thought he saw dolphins, but turned out they weren't there. Mm -hmm. But remember that time we were with him and we saw There was like, a million of them. Yeah. <clears throat> hundreds. Just. And they ride along with the boat. And it's just like they're playing with you. Right. I love that. He said, I don't know if it was that time or another time, there were four or five hundred of them. Swimming. Anyway, it was a really great day. Thanks again, Steele. Um, but we had a terrific Thanksgiving. The staycation. Mm -hmm. well, kind of steak. We went up to L.A. And we went to Todd and Carrie's for Thanksgiving. Uh, Todd Lewis, Jeff Lewis's brother and his They're wife. They're so nice. Aren't they? Wonderful people. Beautiful home. Really, the decor you were, couldn't get over how nicely they, they decorated. And, yeah. Yeah. Um, her house is amazing. But I want to show this video. I love her taste. We brought this giant bottle <coughs> of, what is that? And worth? no one drank it. It was the biggest waste of $500 ever. Here's the giant bottle of Todd opening the bottle of Vuv. That's like 19 Yeah, you know what you can do? Todd, get rid of this. Uh, I'm not working on that anymore. I have a new job. Oh, Look at that. Watch out for George. He wants to I'm going to shoot this thing across the room. <laughs> Here, babe, Could you we're please? popping the champagne. Yay! Finally! Pop it! Pop it! Pop it! Pop it! That's pepper. Pop it! Pop it! Here we go! Here we go! <laughs> I think he put a dent in the ceiling. He did! <laughs> <laughs> That's one big bottle. It almost hit Jazz in, in the eye. Oh, really? Yeah, it popped up on the ceiling and then it went boom, like boom, like right there. Wow. That was dangerous. Why didn't anyone drink the champagne? I don't know. We should have had it first. We should have had it chilled first when we got there and had everybody. It wasn't cold. It was not cold. No. So we brought that Yeti, that pink Yeti, and we filled it with ice and we, we chilled it. It sucks. After the meal, we played left, right, center. And this is hilarious because they had a karaoke machine. We did not sing. I kind of regret that we didn't sing. I did, that too. That could have been very embarrassing. But Todd was narrating the left, right, <laughs> center game. And who's this guy again? That's Chaz Dean. Who's like a famous hairstylist? Yes. it's um, He was on Flipping Out. I want you to watch it. it was, okay. That show. It was so good. I love what The problem with... We would try to watch, and there was commer too many commercials. Yeah, when you watch on on whatever that was, it Hulu yeah, or was it on Freebie? It Might be Freebie. Yeah. So there's uh, no Freebie in it. There's he, no free. He was that. giving away some products in addition to the cash prize. And he gave buy. everybody products. Oh, he did. Yeah, he gave me. But Lucy this box was for the winner of the first game. Uh huh. Uh, and everyone put in five bucks, and the winner takes the takes the pot. It was we thought Pepper was going to win. Yeah, and She's then that, so cute. Someone else's kid was there, and, and that little girl. Charlie. Almost, Charlie. She almost won. That little girl almost won. That would have been so mad if the little kid won. <laughs> I wanted to show this video. I didn't put it in here, but I'll put it on, edit it in. Uh -huh. of the Pendry Lobby. Okay. So you wanted to show the girls the Pendry. We stayed at the... Where that, we no, stayed? that was at the Chateau Marmont. No, I know that is, but I have another video. When we walked across the street... To show the girls the Pendry. Right. We stayed is, at the Mondrian. Right, the Mondrian. So we walked to the Pendry. We stayed there a couple times. And it's just place. such a beautiful hotel. It is. They built the Pendry here, and everyone says the same. It doesn't look like the Pendry. It looks like the Island Hotel. Oh, really? They yeah, we haven't, I mean, I haven't been, but no. they put the Pendry here in Newport, and they said it looks the exact, exact same as it. So they didn't 
invest it, in it uh -uh. the same amount, I guess. Well, but, no. It, so my friend Jody is like, they have the members, like the Soho house. Mm -hmm. They're $21,000 to join. Jeez, Louise. But the, that cube in the lobby here in, in LA is so cool. They have that cube on El Paseo by our house in the Palm Desert at Melissa Morris. I think you can we saw, buy that there. Oh, yeah? Yep. I mean, I think I saw that, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. So, then we went to the Chateau Marmont for lunch. And I just shot video because I thought this was so cool in the, the lobby piano bar. That the piano actually has that drink shelf. I haven't seen that before. I'm sure it's pretty common. If people don't know what the Chateau Marmont is, it's the oldest hotel in Hollywood. That's where all old Hollywood Stay still, I mean, it's still that way. I think John Belushi died there of his drug overdose. <clears throat> and he was staying in a bungalow by the pool, right? Mm hmm And then a lot of famous people have stayed there. And then we found out that Miley Cyrus had been there the day before and did like a pop-up concert in that bar. <coughs> so Jolie decided to, to impersonate Miley Cyrus. I can <laughs> it was really cute. Uh, she was like singing along to the song that she performed. I can buy myself flowers. <laughs> yeah, that one. Write my name in the sand. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I, we had such a great meal there. It was delicious. Apparently, it's really difficult to get a reservation. Yes. Very difficult. Like, extremely difficult to get a reservation. I think because it was a holiday weekend... It just wasn't. I had the concierge at the Mondrian do it, and she says, good luck. She's like, I have to email them and be at their mercy to see if they get back to me. She's like, it's almost impossible to get a reservation there. And But we did. Yeah. And then when I was, we were leaving, I valeted the, the, our truck, our big Dodge Ram, which is a beast. And the girl who brought the car up, she goes, do you want me to pull it around for you? I go, no, no, I got it. No problem. <clears throat> But there was this SUV parked right there in the driveway. It was really tight. And I try to make the turn, and I can't get past the SUV. So now I have to do like a three-point turn. And there's a wall right there. <coughs> and they're all watching me thinking I'm about to wreck that truck. Like just rub right up against the concrete. I, I was thought close. for sure. It was close. Yeah. Um, but I made it. And then we went to the mall. Bought a bunch of stuff for Black Friday. And we went to Javier's mm -hmm. and met up with Nicole and her, and her girlfriend. Yeah. Do you want to tell that story? Oh, so we go. My, so my friend Nicole Contreras, she's been my friend for a long time. She, she actually was on this show called Selling LA when, before every one of those shows, like Selling Sunset, million, uh, Millionaire, whatever that is, uh, not Millionaire Match, but all of those. Mm -hmm. This was like the first real estate tv reality show yeah and she was on that and she was married to um bella fonte and bella fonte left her harry belafonte's son yeah um uh what's his name i forget and they have a kid together um nicole and, and the one who have, left her for posh not, spice yeah posh not spice, posh spice. <laughs> yeah mel one. b mel b so um she's really pretty she looks just like christy brinkley but she's i grew up with her in arizona she's one of my difficult friends right like She's just difficult. Like every time she's awesome. By she's the way. awesome. We, we love her. Yeah, I love we her. We love her. But, but we give her a hard time because she's so difficult. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in restaurants where she doesn't like her drink. She took it back three times, and I go, "Look at this. Look at this." <laughs> it, but it's funny at this juncture because, she, like, we know it's going to happen, and when she does, it's like we la we laugh. Like yeah. it's, it's funny. So her. <clears throat> so her, yeah. her. She brings her friend over, and her friend married this really wealthy guy. They have a house right in Santa Monica. And she was telling me how she has a 16-year-old daughter, a junior, and she says... I think she's 17. No, she's 16. 16. She'll be 17 in December. Oh, my God. She's a 16. And, yeah. she's, and she lets the boyfriend come over and, and stay. And stay the to, night. And stay the night. And she said kids are coming and going until 4 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, she goes, kids are coming in till 3 or 4. Because the, the house across the street got broken into. That while people were home. While people, so I said, well, you got to lock your doors. She goes, eh, well, the kids are coming and going until 4 the, in the morning. 4 in the like, morning. I go, wait. you got to shut that down. You can't let that happen. And then I go, wait. I go, you're one of those moms? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm the cool mom. 
Like, you know, like, it reminded me of that uh, Mean Girls. I'm the cool mom. I don't think that's going to end well. And I go, <laughs> Sorry. I go, and I go, good luck with that. <laughs> like that, didn't I? You did. <laughs> I go, good luck with that. We forgot to, to talk about Ilya Wine at the beginning of the show. Um, we want to rem remind you guys, Ilya Wine sponsors the Daily Smash. Um, we love our Ilya Wine. We do love it so much, we drank this bottle. But you can get yours, which is still full of wine with a cork on it, in it. At Ilya.com. And if you use the discount code Rick and Kelly 20, you'll get 20% off your first two bottles. If you want three or more bottles, you get free shipping. And they'll ship anywhere, almost everywhere, except a couple places. But you'll know when you go on their website, Ilya.com, look it up, put in your address. And my bet is they're going to ship it right to your front door in time for the holidays. Well, not Thanksgiving, but now Christmas. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> Rick and Kelly 20. Ilya.com. Enjoy. Enjoy. You talked about the decorations. I don't know if you can see the... It's a we mess wrapped back that, there. That, uh, that flute. I guess that's a... Is that a chimney? Yeah. It's, it's For a gas it. fireplace? It's we, supposed to be like... This house is like Beetlejuice. Or, or uh, this house is like... If you see the yellow everywhere, like it's... It's like Weekend at Bernie's. It's like 1980 80s. in here. And... It's a beach house. It's, yeah. it's a beach. It's like well, two doors from the beach set on the sand. And it's a beach house. It's not like a homey home here. No, I, I, I love it more than Kelly does, I think. I, I'm, I just love being at the beach. I know you love being at the beach, too. I don't like this house. Right. But I, I can put up like with I the can't, house. I can't wait to get out of here. Yeah. I, 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 I hate it. I can put up with it because of where we are. It just to me, no, that, I like where we are. Yeah. But I don't like... This house. It's, no, I know. Ugh. But anyway, we upgraded by wrapping. Uh, it was Kelly's idea. The red and white sheets, really. Are these sheets? Yeah, I just went to Joanne's and got fabric. Yeah, and we cut it and then wrapped it, and I staple gunned it to the wall. <laughs> we have a lot of holes to fill when we move out. I can yeah. tell you that. And we're gonna we're gonna do the tree as a <clears throat> segment for our Rick and Kelly show on Patreon this week. Kelly's very creative. And we have more lights on order. So once those lights come, we're going to show you how we put the lights on a tree and then all the decorations and how she makes it so beautiful. So we want to build our house, um, the garage and a guest house in the desert. Yeah. And I just asked my friend Harry mm -hmm. um, if AI could do the plans yeah. for us, yeah. architectural plans. And he said he gave me a link. Oh, terrific. I'll, I'll, I'll put in everything I want and need. I already know what I want it to look like, but I need a program like that to, to put it on paper. I mean, like, what is going to happen? You're not going to need architects anymore? Architects were already suffering, I think. It's a tough business. Wow. But if, yeah, if you can do that. Yeah. And not have to pay for an architect? They, they used to charge. He, well, a we, lot. we paid for a down payment 12000 for, for for the house that we were going to build in La Oh, Quinta? yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, my God. We hired this team, this architect who was, <clears throat> it was going to be like 75000 or more. Just, like, And he was giving us a break, he said. But no, it would have been over how much, grand. how much did we pay him? Was it 35000 We paid him a significant amount of money. Yeah. Was it thirty five uh, or 36000 we it, paid it, him? Well, we were paying in installments. I forgot about that. My God. That was the biggest expense against the lot that we wound up selling. Yeah. And we, we would we have broken even. We and all this stuff. We would have broken even if not for all the money we gave the architect. Mm -hmm. We had some badass plans, though. I know. They were really cool. But I think it was a great thing that we didn't build that house. Me too. You I know what? What? God's rejection is God's protection. We would oh. have been screwed out of our minds. Yeah, we would have been house poor big time. But now we've got a great... Little everyone loves income. our house in Palm Desert. Make a great income on that house. Making money every month yeah. on that place. I want to share this reel of the day. Because I saw this reel of the day and I showed Kelly. I'm like, I this is one of the most remarkable things I've seen in a really long time. There's no way they could have faked this. Well, so my girlfriend... Um, uh, uh, Jody used to feed the squirrel and it would come by all the time and she like named it mm -hmm. and our, I didn't even know are squirrels smart? Well see I was just going to say I never <clears throat> thought they were smart but based on what I'm seeing here because obviously this lady and you'll see on the video she, she fed this squirrel every day and the squirrel 
paid her back, left her a present. Why? You just watch this. It might be silent. So she comes That's home and she sees this cookie, right? And sitting right by the front door. Run, and then she goes back to her ring camera to see who left <laughs> the cookie, right? So here's the little Mr. Squirrel. He, he just puts he it just, down. He just lays the it right there. Knows that, the squirrel knows that's the front door. The squirrel knows that's where the lady comes and goes from. And so he just leaves the squirrel, the, the cookie right there. And then he goes down and, and starts eating his food that she left out for him. Right there. That's his food. Isn't that crazy? I'm in shock by that. <laughs> like, that just the little furry vermin is that smart <laughs> and would be that considerate. <laughs> yeah. Considerate. Here's, here's a little treat. I want to know where he got that cookie. Yeah, we don't where know. Where did he get that cookie? could have come out of the trash. <laughs> yeah. I mean, why would there be a cookie outside? Here, here's a little present. Um, That's cute. We're, we're, we watched that thing like 10 times. Yeah. We're almost at the end of our uh, show here, but I did want to share a, a story in the news. In the news. Believe it or not, it's 50 days until the first vote for the presidential 2024 race. Wow. Or should I say the 2024 presidential race? 50 days to the first vote. Do you know what it is? What do you mean? The first vote. No. It's the Iowa caucus. Oh, yeah. Yes, I do. Because you know why I know? Why? You just told me. <laughs> You did. I have one little he was reading me the article. paragraph. <laughs> he was, That's the Iowa caucus. Iowa will play a pivotal role in narrowing down the Republican field of candidates during its January caucuses. The current GOP frontrunner, former President Donald Trump, won the state in 2020 by more than eight percentage points. So he is obviously the odds-on favorite to win the Iowa caucus again. Oh, God. All the woke people are going to go, no! Woo. I mean, the fact they've done everything they can to stop this guy, <laughs> <laughs> you know, through every charge at him, I don't know how many trials he's facing, and he was booked, there's a booking photo, you know, a mugshot, and here he goes. He's, he's He didn't even have to show up to the debates. I know. I just don't understand. The guy's at house 77? I think you're right. Right? And people just beat up on him. Like, he just beat up in the feet up. Mm -hmm. Like, why would you want to be in... Like, I'd be like, I'm out. I'm going to enjoy him with the fruits of my labor. Yeah. Uh, you know, like... I mean, ego. He must ego? I think. I mean, listen... And I, maybe I, he really cares about our country so much... I'm that sure he, he does. he wants it to be better. Like, I'm sure I mean, he does. I mean, look at... I don't understand how anybody could say right now our state of our economy and everything else is mm. in good shape and yeah. I, I don't understand that i mean you're gonna tell me you're better off now than you were three years ago seriously <laughs> i mean just be honest for a second <laughs> are you better off today than you were three years maybe you are but is america better off and be honest seriously think mm. about it i don't think so everything all the prices are sky high things are out of control crime everything else I mean, interest rates. Crime. Anyway, anyway, more on that on Patreon this week. The Rick and Kelly Show on Patreon.com. We hope you'll join us there uh, for our 119th episode. Wow! Have a smashtastic day and a smashtastic week. We hope you had a terrific Thanksgiving, and we hope Kelly feels better. Oh wait, I just want to say that to our Patreon people. Yeah, I made my famous chili. Yeah, and three people make it just like me, except. The minor put, tweaks. Minor tweaks, like brown sugar, which I, I, when she put her recipe in there, I was like, brown sugar is way better than white sugar. Like, why didn't I think of that? If you want Kelly's, but they, went, they, but they won the chili cook-offs like three, three years, years in, in a, a row. Yeah. If you want Kelly's chili recipe, just go to Patreon.com. And if you ever have a cook-off, make it because you'll win. Subscribe to Rick and Kelly's <laughs> show on Patreon. It's in this past week's episode number one eighteen, and you'll have access to all of them. But uh, Ch uh, Kelly's Chili is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. All right. Have a great night. Great Bye, guys. Day. Have a great night. Great See day. You guys. Bye.